What's going on you guys? My name is Morgan and welcome back to another Dog Mom Diary video with how many dogs, however many dogs we're up to now. So as you can see, Chubby wanted to come visit, so I was giving Chubb some love. He's such a good boy. But I just want to give him some pets. As you can tell, he loves his pets. Sometimes he can be a bit of a pain. He is a, he's a loud mouth. He is a overdramatic, he's overdramatic. He's a drama king, but he's a sweet boy. As you can tell, he just wanted all the attention in the world. I try not to bring p any of the dogs into my space, usually unless they're puppies or something if they're hurt. But I like to keep all the dogs out of my space. My space is a mess as, is, as it is, especially with all the cords. And I do have some cord chewers in the bunch, but it's not really any of my older ones. It's like Venus and Cream. And then we got breakfast for all the babies, including the mama dogs. And we have to clean everybody's pen up because their pens are disgusting. So we're going to do that real quick and clean everything up for the mamas because they have to be happy and comfortable and you can see the babies there. Her shoes are all cleaned up and then we have the moment of truth, the food. Because of all eight puppies, I'd say Rosemary is always the happiest one to eat because again she has eight puppies and her she just has the one. But her she was pretty picky when she uh, had her when she had her puppies. Then I got some dishes work done and we're done with that. I'm going to eat something for lunch. Yes, it's SpaghettiOs. And the dogs have decided that they're done with life and they're going to go buck wild. I have to clean the wall. I know. I clean the walls every week, but it doesn't always help. Especially when it's raining and muddy and nasty outside and then they come up and jump on the door. Now, as you can tell, big on buck wild, Venus, Virgil, and Zeus. It's like, you know, they have no boundaries. They don't have any boundaries when you see Athena jumping up. I don't, she, I don't know what she was doing, but she kept jumping up trying to get something off the top of the kennel. I swear, sometimes they are the goofiest dogs, and I don't even know what their problem is. They can be so much. And as you can tell, she's doing it again. I have no idea why. And some, she's just absolutely psycho, I think. And then everybody's jumping up some more. And then it's more knockdown drag outs versus it's Athena, Artemis, I think that is Venus, and Zeus. They are going absolutely nuts. But with all her brother, who I just found a new home for, Venus is actually very, very laid back and very, very mellow. So it was, it's kind of weird. This versus how she is now, she is very mellow right now. And it's really weird to see. I will admit, it's very weird to see her this mellow. But it's a crazy dog time. Zeus has the zoomies. He bears no fear for anybody. He is just going to zoom back and forth without a care in the world. And Venus is there to intercept him. It's still more playtime. Athena has the zoomies now on Venus instead of Zeus having the zoomies. So Athena's going to go nuts. She's just a little hopping bean. I think it's funny when she has the zoomies. It's like the cutest thing I have ever seen in my entire life. I love watching her have the zoomies. And then we're going to go check on Mama Rosemary and Hershey. As you can tell, the puppies are very, very happy. Just the milk bar is open. So what's more to complain about? They are very, very happy and having a good day which is the best part of my day, is seeing the puppies having a good day. Everybody's doing really, really well. Everybody's really, really happy, aside from there's, there's just that one. And then baby Aurora, and the milk bar is open no matter what, because it's just Aurora, but she's not hungry, but her, she gets upset when, or when I take Aurora, no matter what. Then we have another little baby. That's how he's sleeping. I think it's him, but I have two brindles, so sometimes it's hard to tell. But one of them is lighter. It's Raya and Walter, my two brindles. But it was just so cute. I mean, look at that little tongue. Baby puppies are just the most adorable thing of all time. Then I take baby Iris outside just to hang out a little bit. Her eyes are so pretty. But we're just kind of hanging out, just doing our own thing. I can't remember what I was waiting on. I think I was waiting on a delivery. But we just wanted to hang out a little bit. Iris enjoys the outside. She loves the sun. But she doesn't like to really play in the uh, fence as much as you think. After all the zoomies are said and done, it is time for a nap. Everybody has had enough. So as you can tell, everybody's just going to sleep. And then we're going to work on food. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. If you want to stick around for this, you can, can, or you can skip forward and see more of our day. But this is getting food ready for the next day, which I try to do every day. It just makes my life 10 times easier instead of waiting to do it because the dogs usually lose their mind waiting on breakfast.
puppy bowls are filled up and then I have to dump more food in there eventually but so right now we're just going to put that on and start on the adult stock food because I like to kind of separate everybody's bowls and just go from there it makes my life a lot easier instead of having to guess and check on whose bowl is whose but usually I know whose bowl is whose usually but now we're going to start on the adult stock food Adults include Mama Rosemary and Mama Hershey who get fed immediately. I gotta change their puppy pads again because they go to the bathroom like nobody's business. But we're gonna feed them real quick because they're up next. And after that, we're gonna start putting goat milk on everybody's food. It's our lovely little supplement. I love the goat's milk, it does so well for their stomach. Even though I usually wait a little bit to do the native pet, I'm going to go ahead and do the native pet for their joints, coat health, skin health. It helps for dachshunds because dachshunds can get like uh, 
it can get real bad uh, dander and dandruff and dry skin. So I try to do the uh, Native Pet Omega Oil in everybody's bowl and I just actually changed it to a different one, but it actually works. For us, it's sometimes hard to find good supplements because we have so many different dogs. And then we have Ruby, who really doesn't do well with certain supplements. Some of them actually tear her stomach up like nobody's business. She had that one allergic reaction and it made her really sick. But we try to kind of pick and choose and we kind of get a little bit picky with the supplements. Goat's milk has been great and the Omega oil we've been using for a little while now. I did switch it to a better, a different one, a better one, which um, actually it's hard to say, but we're gonna try it, but it is better. It comes in a gallon. It has really good reviews, so we're gonna try that. And hopefully it, it doesn't tear up anybody's stomach or cause any problems. But everybody's skin has been a lot better since we started doing that. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. And as usual, you guys, I'll see you guys next time in the next video. See you guys later.